Hey guys, it's Drake, and this is the Pirate Flintlock Pistol by Busby Toys. You can pick these up at Cracker Barrel, and I think the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney World. I actually got this one as a gift from my friend Nerfomania, and it's not a very usable blaster by any stretch of the imagination. Here's an air zone dart, and I'll show you that when I fire it, I get about 10 foot ranges out of it. Maybe 12, maybe 15 with an angle. I'm going to put a Nerf tagger in it, and I got about 7 feet. It's a fun blaster because, as you can see here, I'm priming it with one hand. Now, I have reasonably large hands, but I can prime it by reaching my thumb over, clicking it, releasing, and firing. And it doesn't fire streamlines very well. I'll try it with one of my whiteout streamlines. It's a good time to mention that I really like the whiteout streamlines. I think that they're very nice, and they work very well in my HVZ Alpha Trooper. I'll be talking about my HVZ loadout if I haven't already in a video coming up soon, I don't know the order I'm going to upload these quite yet. But, this is my review of the Pirate Flintlock pistol that originally shoots Busby darts. I don't have a lot of Busby darts, but I'm going to fire this one. And the Busby dart gets reasonable ranges. I think that the air zone darts actually get the best ranges in this blaster because they almost punch 12 feet. And... Like I said, it's not very usable, but it is a lot of fun. I like the one-handed priming. I assume it would work. It's actually very uncomfortable if you're left-handed. So only buy this one if you're right-handed. But thanks for watching.